Walmart and ate. Well, morning, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> What's with the sweater? Nothing. It's just been hanging in my closet for years. Just thought I'd wear it. <laughs> Come on, Lewis. You've worn the same thing to work every day since I've known you. Why this? Why not? Well, hey, guys, you're not going to like hearing this, but I was watching Christy. Well, you're not going to let him do this, are you? I'm trying to do what is best for the school. If all he can think about is himself, that's his problem. But well, he wasn't thinking about himself, he's thinking about me. Well, he did real well for you. Now you're both out. Wait a minute, Howie, before you start throwing around words like both in and out, well, can we even talk about this? <laughs> what is there to talk about? Well, this whole thing started because I bet against the team. I was being negative. I, I get like that sometimes. And see, that was the whole problem. And then you suspended me, which was the right thing to do. But then I panicked, and that would be, see, I was negative again. <laughs> and see, I, I got all excited, and I got him in trouble, and then he... What can I do for you, Bertram? I, uh, I just received a very strange phone call. You didn't, by chance, run into a Coach Freeman from Harrison College today, did you? Yeah, yeah, at lunch. Uh, nice guy. We were eating at the same restaurant. You went to lunch with the team. Sure did. Why? Well, the uh, NCAA just called. Apparently, Coach Freeman notified them because he said he saw you pick up the check for the entire team. You didn't buy lunch for the entire team, hey, did you? Don't Luther? worry about it, Barry. It wasn't any big deal. The most expensive thing was like seven ninety-five. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> loser. Don't you know that buying a player anything, even a lunch, is a direct violation of the NCAA code? Well, I, I never thought of that, Bert. I mean, it's my first day. I, I was just trying to make an impression. Oh, you made an impression, all right. We are going to be put on probation. This disqualifies us for any postseason games. Scholarships are going to be revoked. None of our games can be televised. And who in the hell would want to play for a school that's the laughing stock of the whole league? In one day, you have single-handedly destroyed a program I worked 15 years to build. <laughs> It was mostly pastas and salad. <laughs> Have you noticed people getting bigger? <laughs> Not just in the weight room. You should see the size of the guys we got planned for us next year. I mean, they are huge. <laughs> I'm just afraid we're outgrowing the planet. <laughs> Look at the facts. In my day, I was considered big. <laughs> And Hayden, in your day, you were a big guy. And Dauber, when you played for us, you were the biggest guy we had. I just saw ten guys got feet bigger than you. I'm just wondering where it all ends. I mean, if people keep getting bigger, then, you know, houses got to get bigger. Which means towns are going to get bigger. I mean, it just doesn't stop. And I mean, we're going to have to feed these giants. Where are we going to get the food? We're not going to get the food because there's not going to be any land to grow the food on. <laughs> Just huge people running around looking for something to eat. It means it's just a matter of time before people start eating each other. Hey, that only leads to one thing. People just keep eating until there's one person left. Well, a 30 to 40 foot fat guy. <laughs> Evidently, you're not as concerned about this as I am.
Fire, 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 fire. Super. <laughs> Were there any uh, safety barriers uh, surrounding the fire pit? Come on, Luth, you know there weren't. No, 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 no ditches, like fire ditches. 